Well, many of us will remember getting chicken pox as kids, having mitts taped to our hands, and maybe even having chicken pox parties with your friends so you can all get it out of the way at the same time. But that trend is shifting. Public health officials have seen a steep decline in the number of chicken pox cases over the past 10 years, to the point where one Toronto school sent out a health notice about a single case. We have seen a substantial decrease in cases, so a decrease in people who present to their family physician with chickenpox, uh, people who go to the emergency room because of chickenpox, and people who are hospitalized. In 2007, there were 2,931 chickenpox cases reported to Toronto Public Health. In 2017, just 512. TPH attributes much of the decline to the introduction of the chickenpox vaccine, also known as the varicella vaccine. These days, uh, we have introduced a two-dose vaccination program in the province. So that means the province publicly funds two doses of chickenpox vaccine. The shot became publicly funded in Ontario in 2004 and became part of the routine vaccination schedule for children in 2011. Less than a week ago, public health officials sent a letter home to parents at Dawson Street Public School in Little Italy, warning of a possible case of chicken pox and providing information on how to protect themselves and their children. But Bulletin says these types of incidents are rare. The vaccine is a very effective vaccine. So two doses of chickenpox vaccine is over 90% effective. So yes, cases are much rarer now. But does the dramatic decrease in chickenpox cases mean an increase in shingles, a related disease? Those who have had chickenpox still have the varicella virus. It stays dormant, but it could be activated later in life and present as shingles, a very painful rash on your side or your head. There has been a slow increase in the amount of shingles cases in Canada, which some experts attribute to chickenpox immunizations. The theory is that uh, one of the things that protects you against shingles is when your body sees chickenpox in those around you in the community. When we introduce a successful vaccine, we see less people around us that have chickenpox, and therefore our immune system doesn't see the virus as often. And that is uh, one thing that may be more likely to activate our shingles. Now, Dr. Bolitan says there hasn't been a substantial enough increase in shingles to say anything decisive about that theory, but does say there is a shingles vac vaccine that is recommended for senior citizens.